Good afternoon, guys. Today we have lecture arterial diseases. On this picture, you can see anatomy of arteries of lower extremities. They are beginning from bifurcation of uh, abdominal parts of the uh, and it is divided to uh, common iliac artery right and left. Common iliac artery uh, divided to external and internal iliac artery. External iliac artery continue to femoral <coughs> arteries and profound femoris arteries. Uh, femoris arteries continue to popliteal artery and popliteal artery divided um, to uh, arterial tibialis posterior and arterial tibialis anterior and continue to arterial foot. Arterial occlusion of the lower extremities. This disease include affection of the femoral arteries, deep arteries of the tire, popliteal arteries, arteries of crews and foot. The most common cause of arterial disease over the lower extremities is arteriosclerosis. Obliterating endarteritis and non-specific arteritis occurs less often. Obliterating arteriosclerosis is the most common chronic disease of the arteries over the lower extremities. Clinical manifestations of arteriosclerosis occur in men chiefly at the age of 50-60 years <clears throat> no. but in women at the age of uh, 60-70. In obliterating arteriosclerosis, the femoral artery is involved most frequently. Occlusion usually takes place at the distal portion, where the artery passes through the tendinal space of the hip adductus muscles, hiatus tendineus adductorius. The deep artery of thigh, which supplies the thigh and has collaterals with the popliteal artery, is stenosed most frequent at the initial portion, <coughs> uh, whereas its distal portion is usually free of arteriosclerosis plaques. The popliteal artery, femoral artery, and the arteries of the foot may be occluded by arteriosclerosis plaques all along, as the, uh, the signs of ischemia may be intensified due to mechanical compression of the vessels of the gastrocnemius and popliteal muscles. Occlusion of these vessels is widespread among patients with diabetes. Patomorphologic stage of arteriosclerosis. First stage, preclinical stage of this disease. Occasional lipid spots and strips, its lipidosis, are possible to note in uh, the arteries on the unchanged intima. Second stage, uh, ill defined arteriosclerosis. Besides marked lipidosis, there take place occasional small fibrosis uh, and arteromatose plaques on the unchanged intima. Short stage, greatly pronounced atherosclerosis, there observed multiple fibrosis and arteromatose plaques with calcinosis. Part of them is ulcerated on the thickened and deformed to Barrow's intima or the aort. Risk factors of atherosclerosis. It is smoking, diabetes mellitus, arterial hypertension, lipid exchange imbalance, hered uh, hereditary hypercholesterolemia is the most common. The presence of strokes and cardiovascular disease in family history. Clinical picture, analysis and objective study allow to confirm vascular disruption 
and to suppose the anatomical site of the artery occlusion. Methods of spalpation and auscultation are of uh, particular value at the initial stage of diagnosis. <coughs> Excuse me. On this picture you can see uh, uh, trophic ulcers and gangrene of finger. Symptoms may be uh, pain or convulsions in the affected extremity, particularly in the gastrocnemius muscles. Discomfort in the thigh, uh, thigh or buttock. Loss of hair. Muscular atrophy of the affected extremity. Paleness of the lower extremity in raised position. Congestive hyperemia in lower position of the extremity. Necrotizing foci, trophic ulcers, and gangrene. Absence of discomfort at rest means that stage of ischemia is almost insignificant, but on the contrary, contrary pronounced discomfort in the extremity in the absence of physical exertion is the evidence of severe circulatory disturbance, and that pains at rest prove arterial blood flow decompensation. The patients notice intense pain, burning or colicky, usually in the distal portion of the extremity and in the arch, which becomes acute in laying position. <clears throat> Sometimes it doesn't allow to fall asleep. A forced lower position of the extremity gives a relief. Clinical classification. Uh, of chronic ischemia of the lower extremity is based on degree of intensity of the pain syndrome. First stage, pain in the gastrocnemius muscles appears on ordinary walk walking at the distance for one kilometer. Second A stage, a patient can walk more than 200 meters before the pain occurs. Second B stage, a patient can walk less than 200 meters at a walking pace. Third stage, pain arises at rest and on walking up to 25 meters. And fourth stage, the upper ultra-necrotic change over the lower extremities. Diagnostics. <clears throat> First, Non-invasive methods of investigation. It's real vasography. According to the date of a real vasogram, there can be determined the presence and degree of arterial insufficiency. Segmental taking of arterial pressure is carried out uh, <clears throat> a different portion of the upper and lower extremity. Reduction of arterial pressure is possible distally to arterial stenosis or occlusion site. Malleolar hammer index uh, ratio, its ratio of arterial pressure in the region of ankle joint to <coughs> arterial pressure in the brachial artery is of informative value. Normally this ratio is 1 or slightly higher. In patients with complaints for in intermittent calculation, it is usually less than 0 0.8, and in patients with pains at rest, it is less than 0 0.5. <coughs> this index may be erroneously. <coughs> Exercise uh, excessive due to <coughs> calcification of the arterioles. On this picture, you can see ultrasound investigation on 
uh, left picture, we can see uh, occlusion of the femoral artery, and right picture, we can see uh, stenosis turning into occlusion. Second, invasive methods of investigation. <clears throat> Estimation of uh, peripheral arteries state is possible also by means of digital angiography and uh, percutaneous arterial angiography. Intravenous digital sub, uh, subtraction angiography is carried out by introduction of contrast uh, substance into the large vein. This method doesn't require arterial puncture and can be applied on an outpatient basis. Uh, disadvantages of these methods include low-grade resolution and the necess uh, necessity of increase of contrast substance volume. Arterial digital sub, uh, subtraction angiography, the same uh, technique as in intravenous angiography is applied, but the contrast substance is introduced into the affected artery. It is possible to make an accurate X-ray film with small amount of the contrast substance. The patient feels a minimum discomfort during investigation. A small amount of introduced contrast substance allows, if it is necessary, to give the uh, repeated injection. Still, the method requires arterial puncture, which makes uh, the investigation more complicated. Simple arteriography allows making <clears throat> plain films with well-defined uh, studied region. Disadvantages of these methods include the possible development of severe complications, acute renal failure and acute uh, degeneration, acute arterial occlusion, false aneurysm and allergic reaction. On this picture you can see arteriography with occlusion uh, arteria tibialis anterior. Translumbar uh, orthography presents an aortic puncture with a long needle introduced in the lumbar region. Indications this method is applied in the presence of contraindications for characterization of the femoral arteries, absence of pulsation on the femoral arteries, stenosis of the artery, or the arteries of the <clears throat> upper extremities. The most common complication is formation of the retroperitoneal hematomas. On this picture you can see uh, angiography 2 with uh, occlusion of femoral artery. Treatment. The first, it's conservative treatment. At the first stage of treatment, physical exercises, diet and refusal to smoke are recommended. It is necessary to control hypertension and uh, derangement of lipid exchange. Pentoxifilin or Chantal obtained the reco uh, recognition for treatment of intermittent claudication. This uh, preparation reduced the viscosity of the blood and increases the elasticity of erythrocytes, which results in uh, intensification of blood flow in the microcirculatory bed. Second, low invasive methods of atherosclerosis plex elimination. Arterial dilatation at the stenotic site by means of exaggeration of balloon catheter is a non-surgical method. 
which result in crash of atherosclerotic plaques. It can be used on the majority of arteries of extremities. At uh, atherectomy, catheter allows to eliminate plaques from the affected arteries and they restore the distal blood flow. Lasers are used for recanalization of the affected vessels with its following dilatation by means of balloon or other ectomy catheter. Rotor dilatation, in which a plaque occluding the site of the artery is drilled by rotor catheter, is possible. So, surgical treatment may be popliteral femoral shunting uh, with appliance of autogenic grade safenol swing is the <coughs> basic ma basis method of surgical intervention. Autograft made from the grid safenos vein is always stitched in inverted position in order that venous valves, valves do not imply impede uh, the <coughs> blood flow. <coughs> If the vein is absent or it is not unfit for shunting, the artificial prosthesis are used. On this picture you can see a scheme of femoral tibial shunting or femoral popliteal shunting. On this picture, a femoral tibial shunting. Next, femoral tibial shunting is indicated for patients with involvement of popliteral artery. Two methods of surgical intervention are used. First, outer graft made from the great saphenous vein is stitched in inverted position. And second, the veins remain in the bed, but its walls become inactive. To C2 technique. Next, profundoplasty is the restoration of the trunk of the deep artery of tire. In case of correct performance, it results in abatement of pain at rest and healing. Of ulcers. <clears throat> this method is used in patients which, with a high risk of the femoral artery occlusion and makes stenosis of the trunk of deep artery of thigh. The operation may be performed under local anesthesia. <clears throat> On this picture, you can see a scheme of profundoplasty. Lumbar impatectomy. <coughs> it is uh, indicate for patient with such disease of the arteries or lower extremities, with which uh, resist the construction. Lumbar impatectomy is performed rarely following shunting. On this picture, uh, you can see uh, trophic ulcers and uh, postoperative period after uh, skin plastic of these ulcers. On this picture you can see real scolarization, osteotrepanation. On this picture you can see arterialization of superficial artery. Next methods, amputation. Indication for amputation of lower extremity. Its uh, reconstruction of affected vessels is, is possible. Uh, extensive gangrene of a foot portion and sepsis, which is particularly caused by gas producing bacteria. Postoperative lethality is about 13%. In a half of patients, death occurs due to cardiovascular complications.
and in 25 persons due to pulmonary disease. Uh, three year survival rate in amputations is 50% and five year survival rate is 70%. Prognosis in <coughs> patient with obliterating atherosclerosis or the lower extremities is relatively favorable. <coughs> Only in 10% patients the disease progresses during 10 years. <coughs> up to pronounced ischemia of an extremity. Survival so rate in disease patient is really high. Five years survival rate is 33% and 10 years survival rate is 38%. The most common cause of death is coronary atherosclerosis. Obliterating endarthritis, synonyms, thrombangitis obliterans uh, in USA, England, and Italy, uh, thrombangiosis and endarthriosis. The disease occurs predominantly at the age of 20 40 years, but it may be noted also at the age of 15 16. It afflicts uh, exclusively men 95%. The disease involves mainly the vessels of the lower extremities, but it spreads uh, simultaneously over the cardiac, brain, and renal vessels, which proves the systemic vascular pathology. Etiology. Hypersensitivity to nicotine is considered to be the cause of initiation and development of endotritis. Long-term <coughs> repeated cooling, especially uh, in the more moist environment, is considered to be the important pathogenic factor. Pathogenic factor. Next reasons its allergy theory explains obliteration and thrombosis of vessels by autoimmune reaction associated with sensitization of the wool due to cooling, trauma, and chemical or pharmaceutical substance effect. Next theory its neurogenic theory. There had been revealed degenerative inflammatory changes in the sym sympathetic nerves and ganglia, which resulted in prolonged vasospasm. Proposed operation on veg uh, veg uh, vegetative nervous system have a defi definite therapeutic effect. Opel had estimated the significance of endocrine factors. In 1911, <coughs> excuse me, at acute period of the disease, there is noted the increase of 70 keto steroids in urine. But at uh, the stage of remission or at advanced cost, their content is within the normal limits or even decreased the adrenal <coughs> depression stage. Symptoms may be pain or convulsion in the affected extremity, same atherosclerosis, particularly in the gastrocnemius muscles, uh, discomfort in the thigh or buttock, loss of hair. Muscular atrophy of the affected extremity, uh, paleness of the lower extremity in the right position, uh, congestive hyperemia in lower position of the extremity, necrotic lymphocyte, trophic ulcers, and gangrene. Diagnostics A visual examination reveals change in color of the skin, trophic change, and edema. 
change of uh, its thickness, state of nails and hair, uh, superficial vein filling, in case of spastic filling of capillarities, the color of the skin is cyanotic or pale. At the terminal stage, the skin becomes of red-violet color due to paresis of capillaries. Palpation, estimation of after arterial pulse is a comp compulsory clinical investigation. Pulsation is examined on the symmetrical sites of the both lower extremities, which allows revealing the difference in degree of feeling and tension of pulse. <clears throat> this estimation may be the following. First, distinct, weak and absent of pulsation. Examination of the peripheral pulse allows determining the level of arterial obstruction. Auscultation of the vessels. Detection of systolic murmur or over the artery uh, is the evidence of stenosis or aneurysmal dilatation of the vessels. It is rather infrequent in endarteritis. Functional tests in ischemia. Uh, Ratchoff's test for the upper extremity to lift the arm and double hand into a first four second, uh, 30 seconds. Normally the color of the hands doesn't change, but in ischemia it becomes pale. Ratchoff's test 2 for the low extremities. The low extremity bent at the angle of 45 degree makes flexion extension movement for two minutes. In ischemia there becomes paleness of the extremity in 5-10 seconds. Lineal Levastin's test Capillary Circulation Index <clears throat> Pressing on the symmetrical sides of skin on the both lower extremities. Normally, the pale spot remains for two to four seconds. If it lasts uh, more than four seconds, the capillary circulation disturbance takes place. Plantar ischemia opal symptom. Uh, paleness of the sole surface or the skin. Raised, raised uh, affected extremity. In ischemia, it is noted in 4 6 seconds. Goldflam's test to uh, raise a little the lower extremity to make uh, bending and extending movements in the ankle joint. In case of presence of circulation disturbance in 10-20 seconds, there appears fat fatigue in feet. Great toy sign or a Babkin's sign or a Babkin's phenomenon. Babinski phenomenon. Uh, on compression of the terminal phalanx or the great toy in the anterior posterior direction for 5-10 seconds. Normally paleness at once changes into uh, habitual color of skin. <clears throat> In ischemia, paleness lasts more than 10 seconds. Instrumental methods of study. Leovasography, graphical registration of pulse fluctuations of the arterial wall. <clears throat> they allow estimating the degree of arterial insufficiency and character of arterial tone change. Ultrasonic scanning enables to uh, measure arterial pressure at different levels to determine the location of narrowings, degree of arterial 
latency and location of arterial venous fistula. Capillaroscopy allows making a conclusion about capillary blood flow. Angiographic study, rengenovasography enables to determine the degree and location of arterial constriction and collateral development. Percutaneous puncture of the femoral artery is applied in this case. Stage First stage of functional insufficiency. <coughs> On walking for a long distance, a patient feels uh, Theosine pains in the gastrocnemius muscles. Sense uh, of burning in the finger tips. <coughs> Pulsation of the arteries of the extremities is reduced. Second stage of subcompensation. Intermittent clo claudication <coughs> uh, intens intensifies patient can walk not more than 200-400 meters. Growth of hair impaired. Impacts. The skin over the leg become of reddish black color. Pulsation of the arteries of foot and leg is not revealed. Third stage of decompensation. Pains at rest. A patient can walk not more than 250 meters. Necrotic ulcers are formed. Muscular atrophy progresses. First stage of destructive change. Ulcers, necrosis, edema, and torus gangrene. Treatment. First, conservative treatment. Anesthesia. Anesthesia of a sympathetic nervous system of the lumbar region paranephral block with administration of 30-80 mL of novocaine from each side. In this case, it is first of all sight about break of the primary tracts and cut off of the proper vasoconstrictive parts. Of the <coughs> nervous system. It is necessary to remember, remember <coughs> that positive effect doesn't become at once, but in three uh, seven days. Close uh, circuit anesthesia of the extremity above the affected site. At the given methods, the effect has appeared to be short term. Intraarterial introduction of 10 ml 1% novocaine solution, according to Jelansky, is another modification of this method. Introduction of 10 ml of 1% novocaine solution into the spongy substance of the heel bone, according to Wexler, renders proof. Effect by way of abatement of pain. Vasodilating agents. Drugs with makes ganglion blocking action. Drugs <coughs> that act mainly in the field of peripheral uh, cholinergic active system. Next, vasodilating agents which have an effect immediately <coughs> on the smooth muscles. It's first ganglion blockers. These drugs act to the vegetable vegetative nervous system and have a vasodilatating effect. Second, spasmolytics, drugs acting on peripheral cholin energetic active system and sought vasodilatating drugs of uh, myotrophic action 
which have an effect and on the smooth muscles of the vessels. Next treatment, drugs normalizing neurotrophic and metabolic processes. Its corticosteroids treatment with prednisolone is administrated in short course 6-10 days. The dose is 10-20 mg per day. The course is uh, repeated in 6 months. Next, vitamin therapy. Vitamins B1 and B6, which are similar to nicotinic acid. And other vitamins E, B, fifteens. <coughs> and next, lipotropic preparations. Fourth, drugs normaliz normalizing blood coagulation of direct action heparin and of indirect action syncomar, pelantan and neodicomarin. 5. Uh, Desensitizing drugs Benadryl, Suprastin, Pipalfen and surgical treatments. Surgical treatments divided out of venous shunting uh, all prosthetics and amputation. Raynaud's disease, the disease associated with predominant affection of terminal arteries and arterioles of the upper and lower extremities with pronounced microcirculatory disturbance. It frequently aff afflicts young women. The pathologic process involves the vessels of fingers, foot and even <coughs> nose and ears. Bilateral involvement is characteristic. On this picture you can see necrotic process of fingers. after renal disease. Etiologic factors are various. It's severe emotional stress, chronic injury of fingers, uh, professional factors, endocrine disturbance, pyrotoxicosis and dishormonal sexual disease, and other causes. Clinical picture. Uh, three stages of the uh, disease are dis distinguished. The first stage, <coughs> ambulous plastic, is character characterized uh, by high vascular tone. They occur sudden, quickly disappearing vascular spasms of the terminal phal phalanxes. Most frequently, there are the second and third fingers and once with toys. Uh, they become cool, their sensi sensitivity is decreased, <coughs> the skin is pale. In several, uh, several minutes paleness of skin changes into hypermy. Spasm gives place to dilatation of the vessels. Patients notice severe burning and acute pains. Later, uh, only color of skin become norm becomes normal and sensation of pain disappears. Excuse me. Uh, the second stage, anger, uh, <coughs> anger paralytic. <coughs> In this stage, Paleness occurs rarely. The skin changes its color. It becomes of blue-brown color. Edema of toys become constant. This stage lasts for 3-5 years. The third stage. Trophoparalytic is characterized by appearance of trophic change in the flow of ulcer. Excuse me. 
in the in the form of ulcers and necrosis in body. <clears throat> Soft tissues over the first and second terminal phalanx. On uh, appearance of line of demarcation, necrosis is sized and indolent also from. Treatment. Conservative therapy. Therapy is complex as in other obliterating disease. And surgical treatment. Thoracic sympathic tummy. Thank you for attention.